My further, New your New time for answering the question has expired. Senator Madigan. Thank you, Mr President. My question is to the Minister representing the Minister for Industry, Senator Ronaldson. Mindful of Australia's dismal laws in relation to dumping, labelling, intellectual property and 457s visas, can the Minister outline how much the Australian Government forecast jobs in the Australian manufacturing sector will increase or decrease over the course of this financial year? Minister for Veterans Affairs, representing the Minister for Industry and Innovation. Senator Ronaldson. Uh, well, thank you, Mr President. Can I uh, uh, join the long queue congratulating you on your uh, elevation to the status? Can I uh, uh, thank Senator Madigan as well for uh, his question, and can I acknowledge his uh, very long-standing interest in uh, manufacturing, not just in our hometown but uh, uh, throughout the nation? Uh, I understand, Senator, that uh, under the former government some 140,000 uh, manufacturing uh, uh, jobs have been uh, have lost since uh, 2008, uh, almost uh, uh, one in seven, which I know uh, causes both of us uh, uh, great concern. And the, uh, the government, Senator, is committed to, uh, to setting the right infrastructure and in economic conditions for uh, manufacturing. Uh, it is a priority for the minister, uh, as I know it will be a priority uh, uh, for you. In relation to the uh, uh, forecast for the financial year, uh, I have been provided with the uh, following advice from the Department of Employment. Uh, projections from 2013 to 2018 by uh, industry uh, indicates that employment in the manufacturing sector will decrease from 934,100 persons to 893,000 persons in 2018, reflecting global trends in a move from tra uh, traditional industries. Uh, this is a decrease of 4.3 per cent over five years, or a decrease of 0.86 per cent per year. Uh, this would give us an estimated employment projection of approximately 917,000 in 2015. Now, as the Senator knows, we are, uh, under, uh, we are undergoing a generational transition. And through you, Mr President, I will say to Senator Madigan uh, that today we have the opportunity to actually remove uh, the, milk, uh, the, uh, the, the uh, millstone around uh, the Order, industry's Order, Minister. Neck, the uh, which time for answering the, the question has tax. expired. Senator Madigan, a supplementary question? Thank you, Mr President. Minister, mindful of the fact that there has been a decrease in the number of people working in manufacturing over the past five years, a uh, figure you suggest of 140,000 jobs. Can the minister outline whether the number of 457 visa holders working in the manufacturing sector has increased or decreased? Minister. So, thank you, uh, Mr President. Uh, as you're aware, this is, uh, uh, I don't think, necessarily in this uh, portfolio area, but I, if I can assist, uh, I will. If I need to take anything on notice, uh, uh, I will. Uh, I can confirm that there has been a decrease in the number of uh, primary subclass 457 visa holders in the manufacturing sector in Australia. Uh, the number of subclass 457 visa holders working in the manufacturing sector as at 30 June 2014 was 6,891. This is a decrease of 152 persons compared to 30 June 2013, uh, when there were seven 1,043 subclass 457 visa holders working in the manufacturing sector in Australia. Under the former Labor government, uh, the subclass 457 program grew from around 68,400 primary visa holders at the end of June 2010 to more than 110,000. Order, uh, Minister. The time for answering office. the question has expired. Senator Madigan, a final supplementary. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, what practical measures, Minister, is the government taking to ensure university and TAFE graduates, who they seemingly want to have a big, bigger debt to repay, will have jobs available for the, in the manufacturing sector or indeed in any other sector? Minister. Uh, well, thank you, Mr. President. Well, Senator, I, I don't accept the premise of part of your, uh, uh, part of your question, but I'll, uh, I'll put that uh, to one side uh, and uh, uh, respond uh, in this way. Uh, one practical measure we intend implementing uh, is the government's trade support loans, uh, which is before the Senate, I think, uh, as we speak. 
Now, it's an investment of $1.9 billion and will support those who learn a trade in ways that are targeted, practical and delivery job ready. And I'll just say to Senator Madigan, because I think, like me, uh, he would also agree that there's a group of Australian uh, young people who have had the opportunity to have university education. But what about that group of Australian young men and women who want to do a trade? who want to contribute to this nation with a trade and those skills. They have been left behind. They have been left behind. And this government is determined to overturn what the former government did. We're proud of our young men and women doing trades and we'll do everything Order. we can. Minister, to the time for them. answering the question has expired. Senator Smith. Thank you, Mr. Order,